Welcome to the Recon Trader. In today's video, I will show you why I utilize the RSI indicator to trigger buy signals with my Crypto Hopper automated trading bot. But before we get too far into the weeds, let's take a look at what RSI actually is. RSI stands for Relative Strength Index. What is that? Well, it's basically a momentum indicator that is used in technical analysis and measures the magnitude of recent price changes to evaluate overbought or oversold conditions in the price of a security. The RSI is displayed as a line graph that ranges between 0 to 100. Cryptocurrency traders' interpretation of RSI are that values of 20 or below indicates that a security is becoming oversold or undervalued, and RSI values of 80 or above indicate that it is becoming overbought. So in theory, the price action may be geared up for a trend reversal or corrective pullback when the price enters those zones. Now, I utilize RSI divergence is what I'm trying to attempt to achieve with the Crypto Hopper automated trading bot. Unfortunately, the Crypto Hopper automated trading bot isn't set up perfectly for this strategy. I actually end up having to utilize the trailing stop buy feature of Crypto Hopper to attempt to mimic RSI divergence. Now what I'm looking for from the RSI divergence is the bullish divergence, which occurs when RSI creates an oversold reading followed by a higher low that matches correspondingly lower lows in the price. Together, this indicates rising bullish momentum and a break above the oversold territory is when I actually prefer to trigger a new long position. Now again, with Crypto Hopper, you can't exactly configure for that exact strategy. With that all being said, let's take a look at an actual chart so you can see what I'm actually talking about. And this is a chart of Ethereum versus US dollar on Coinbase using 15 minute candles. And the first example we see is this big sell off and the RSI entering down around four. So it breaks the 20 mark and crashes down to around four with a low of around 180. You can see the 180 was the low of this particular candle. And we see it actually kind of bounce back, doesn't quite break back above. And I kind of dropped this line in here to show you this upward momentum that we're seeing, even though the price is actually moving down. The momentum is actually moving up in reality. And what I'm looking for is for this break right here. So we see a low of 180, we get a higher low of one almost 82, around 182, and you can see we still haven't quite broken through, and then we actually break through here, and the low is around 183 and a half. At this point, if we take our ruler and make an entry on the close of that positive candle, we can see a return of just over 4% if we exit towards the top here. Now I would probably be looking for a return of somewhere between three to 4%. So anywhere in here, I would be looking to exit and take profit. And I would have had my stop loss set at the low of this previous red candle. I could even have gone down to the 182 mark, which would have been this previous low anywhere in here and I would have had a anywhere between these two candles I would have had a good risk versus reward on this particular trade so this is a standard RSI divergence setup for a trade now to get my bot to do that perfectly we're missing a few things within crypto hopper to achieve that so you kind of paste together the RSI along with a trailing stop buy and hopefully that trailing stop buy will get the price action moving back in your favor breaking through and moving upwards another great example of the RSI not so much the divergence but how the RSI breaking the 20 mark and then recovering and pulling back in your direction will turn out to be another winner 
on this particular trade. So it breaks down below the RSI 20 only to immediately reverse. And if you can get your buy in through your bot, you will see another 4% plus return. And in this case, it should return a full 4%. And it's important to have a stop loss because just because it broke through here doesn't mean it's going to bounce. I mean, it could continue to sell off as we saw on this previous candle back here. So you want to have a stop loss set in the crypto hopper to get you out of the position. But these two examples are why I deploy RSI within the crypto hopper bot to trigger my buy signals along with Bollinger Bands. And I'll get into another video in the future as, as far as showing you how I utilize the Bollinger Bands. So it's probably not a bad idea to subscribe now to the channel and ring that bell. All right. So those are two examples. And the same thing can be done for bearish or shorting. A cryptocurrency this would all just be inverted your rsi would be breaking through i use 90 i don't actually use the industry standard of of 80 i use 90 and that's why it's so far up here on the chart but if this was breaking through the 90 range then you would look for it to start moving back into a lower range and for an entry to short because we should start to see it retrace and pull back and so it can be used both for bullish and bearish moves. It's just everything would be flipped for your bearish moves. Everything would be flipped upside down on this chart for your bearish moves. And so if we jump back over to Crypto Hopper under the, your configuration, under the strategy tab, you would go to your advanced multiple TA settings and you would choose enable RSI. In this case, you can see I also have Bollinger Bands uh enabled as well and then you would set up your thresholds 20 is the default where i set my oversold and then i set mine at 90 versus the default of 80 for overbought and then you also have to set your rsi period and what that basically means is there is a mathematical equation that is executed based on this RSI period and the defaults 14 periods I actually get a little more volatility by choosing nine is a number I use quite a bit and I use that number also when I'm trading stocks or Forex or anything any other security I use nine I've gone as low as seven but that's a little too volatile and again I can go into a more detail on RSI if y'all want, just leave a comment down below and uh, I'll consider doing a video for that. But I use the nine period, 14 is the default, which is totally acceptable as well. And in addition to the RSI, as I mentioned, to achieve that divergence, I utilize the trailing stop buy at half a percent. And what that should do is allow the price action to move up or back in my positive direction almost half a percent before I get in and which in theory should mean the price action is now back to bullish rather than the selling off bearish uh, momentum so that is how I try to achieve uh, RSI divergence with the crypto hopper automated trading bot and so I just wanted to do a quick video I do get a lot of questions why I use certain indicators how I uh, deploy certain indicators and RSI is an important weapon that I have in my arsenal uh, when it comes to uh, recon with that all being said if you like the video do me a favor spike a like if you like these type of videos be sure to subscribe there's going to be a bunch more in the future and until next time remember do your recon before you send your money into battle. See you.